everyone and welcome all new subscribers all new visitors thank you for checking out my channel it really means a lot uh, really really want to thank everyone for the birthday wishes I saw all of them and really happy blew me away how much I got and uh, it really means a lot to me everyone so really thank you for that and uh, sorry I'm a little behind I've been trying to do tons of videos but I, they put me on full time, almost full time at work, so it's been harder to get to videos. Uh, but once again, thanks. Birthday was great and it means a lot. It really means a lot having the support. So I'm going to start this and teach you the simplest way I can think of. And I'm using a B-Lead Statler, which is great. Uh, and if you notice, I'm trying to do a lot more anime and manga the past few weeks. I'm going to try to get more done. I got some more from Bleach and Soul Eater. So that'll probably be next. So let's get started. For this one, it's really simple pose. I'm actually, normally I don't use a photo and uh, I'll use it as a reference, but I won't completely use the pose. I'll try to come up with different poses. But for this one, I just really like the simplicity of the pose. And so I'm going to keep with the photo I'm using here. Let me move this down a bit. So let's just start with the real simple circle. This is probably the easiest light sketch circle shape for the head. Don't worry about if it's not perfect. Basically with, with her facial features it juts out wider on the sides like this and it comes to a point which many anime characters are and she's looking at us so just start with that very basic simple shape and you can make a guideline coming down the middle and I haven't drawn in a while so you know, like I mentioned a lot with drawing so much of it is constant practice because you know it's like playing a guitar or instrument if you don't practice for a week or at least draw something your hand can sometimes get out of tune and it's harder to get back in uh, that's very true with drawing you know my hand doesn't feel warmed up yet the muscles aren't ready so real simple though draw that shape then the neck I really like this pose because the little outfit she has on and all I'm going to do is a line coming down real simple lines for the shoulders you can see I make it sketchy and then basically real simple shapes all I'm doing is making a simple outline for the body but very important notice the proportions notice the head is a little about the same size so that's about that and always remember to keep proportions in mind when you're doing these drawings and also play around with proportions that's what's fun about drawing so when you get different proportions found in different whenever you discover something different you like keep doing it and for the arm all I'm doing is making none and you can see right now all I'm simply doing some people might put a shape I'm just gonna stick with the outline being that it's simple uh, and I can see where the hands going but you know other people might put a circle there or a tube shape for now like I said it's just whatever your preference is whatever gets you the best result or you can visualize it better. All I'm doing is making the hand uh, curve down. She's holding a book. And I'm looking at the image but I'm not copying. I'm just using it solely to get a pose and I'm just keeping that in mind. I'm not really, I'm not, in other words, I'm not looking at it constantly going back and looking. I'm just getting an idea of what the pose is. You know, then this hand comes in front. Make this a little skinnier, a little more slender. This kind of comes out just where the breast is. Very subtle lines. And her hands basically like that. Kind of a rectangular shape. This one too. Real simple rectangular shapes. Notice they get a little wider towards the end and this outfit comes out. I'm going to make this arm come in just a little bit more. Really keep it slender up top. 
a little bit slender. So I'm gonna erase that. You can see how it's looking so far. I got a real basic shape. You know, nothing fancy. Uh, what I want to do is, you can make a line down the middle just to mark it. And basically with this, she has an outfit that covers most of, you know, covers the body. So to make the outfit look like it's on the, the flesh and it's covering, you know, you have these lines that kind of go around. So, first let's, let's get the rest of the dress. She's got this skirt on. So it just comes down. Then the book. And look, all I'm doing right now, if you notice, I'm just marking simple shapes. That's all I'm doing. Nothing fancy. And I'm not doing any final lines. So the point that I'm getting, and that's what I teach with many of my videos, is uh, you know, the whole idea of you can draw, the idea of you being able to draw better. One of the biggest points I make is that. you really can do it if you start to think differently and that's a huge thing and, and here's what I'm getting at here I keep saying that but basically you know if you're told to draw a square you're like oh that's easy you can do that if you're told to draw a circle you know you can do that and the basic idea is always remember what you're drawing starts as shapes even though something may be more complicated or it may be a much more detailed complicated or foreshortened shape like my hand for example you still have to remember everything is a shape uh, and you can draw those shapes so the, the kind of the idea the whole principle behind my channel is you guys can draw is you you know you may not get to a professional level but you will definitely improve and that's that's kind of what I that's kind of what I go for with all my videos by giving tips and always always have room for improvement because big thing about me I I really have so much room for improvement I I'm an amateur when it comes to this but like I said before, when it comes to teaching and understanding the process, uh, I can really get that in people's minds and open them their potential up more. So that's just me going on a speech again. It's right there. And then I think I'm going to start with the outfit, being that it's a little trickier. But you have these right here, just sort of the, kind of like the, I guess it would be, bow tie shape. What is, please tell me someone what the name of this is. I guess it's a bow tie but maybe in Japan it's different. But a little triangular shape then another one behind that. And I'm going to go back with the, the pencil and darken these in. But for this shape the hair is going to cover some of it. It just juts in, juts out and then you have another shape juts in and just on the dress it kind of comes out. Let me erase a lot of the lines in between so you can see it a little better. You can see it a little better now. There's this one. I'm actually going to forget the second bottom just because it's a drawing. Uh, you know. So just worry about these two little triangular shapes. And then under here you have, it kind of opens up the, the dress on the top. So you see part of that open up. And here's what I'm talk about the curve of the body where the breasts are here, uh, you know, fairly small, and so it's just a little curve, but then it comes down and it goes down to there, and you have this nice line. And so this connects to that end. You just have these nice little lines. And she's got around the neck. I'm gonna go back and really clean that up. But we'll just focus on these main shapes, these basic shapes I drew up uh, to get. Then, and I'm not the best when it comes to drawing outfits. I need a lot more practice, but it'll make sense once I shade it too. And you know, you'll see at the beginning of the video, so that'll kind of make more sense. And then for the rest, you have a line that see you have this middle line, then you have another line that comes down from here. And it kind of breaks it up. And you can see, see how much time you spend doing a drawing? Uh, like, I, like I stressed in the tips video I did for tips to help you guys improve. You know, I mentioned time is a huge factor because to really make a good drawing, you really do have to invest a good amount of time and you have to sit and say, okay, I'm going to 
draw something and make it good and I'm gonna spend time, you know, that time into it and then the sleeve comes down. That's a huge factor. Look at professional people on here. For example, I just favorited a video. But look, just follow these lines too. I'm making just basic little shapes. You can make this line a little darker to, because it overlaps another line. You have a little sleeve here. Like I was saying, uh, I just favorited a video of drawing. I think it was Chun Li. But the point is with the Chun Li drawing, if you look at her description, she spent four hours doing it. Uh, four hours. And that, uh, that's just the point I'm getting at is, you know, every drawing, if you really want your drawings to look good and be, um, more professional, you know, really spend the time into it. Just don't think you're going to be able to whip something up that's quick, you know, it really takes a lot of time, a lot of thought in every drawing you do, and that's, you know, that's what's incredible about drawing, it's a thoughtful process. That's just me giving lots of advice again in this book. So let's get with the face. Uh, we got most of the body covered, real, real basic shapes. So now the lines, I'm going to start with the hair. Actually, I'll start with the eyes. Basic eye shape. They're pretty big, so I'm just going to put it on this line here. Start about where the middle line is. They're big. They curve down, arch up, and then curve back up. See that shape? But notice how huge they are. She's got these big eyes. So one there. An eyebrow tends to arch down. It gets a little fatter towards the middle. And same thing on this side, little eyebrow. Try to make sure I got it just right. So it kind of comes up and it gets thicker on that side. It's kind of skinnier there and towards the edge it gets a lot skinnier. But it arches down and on the bottom you have that line. And once again, just remember they're big. Look at the proportion of the size. And really, really big pupil. One there, one there, I like that, and then the nose, this real simple nose shape, you know, kind of work on different spots as you go, and what really sets this character aside from others, and that's always the big thing. I'm going to make the face a little wider. What sets this character aside from others is the hair. You know, that's kind of, you see the hair and right away you know that's her. Notice these marks. Uh, so, you have this really long blade of hair comes down like that and comes back up. I'm just going to sketch it, then this comes down and on this side kind of comes downward and real big hair. And, and the point I was getting at is uh, what separates her from other characters is the hair. And that's something to remember when you're drawing anime, especially anime. I mean, it applies to everything, every character you draw. But, but the reason anime is because you, know, you have three. This hair kind of comes back. I'm going to shade that all black. We got these little lines back here. The point I was getting at is with anime, big focus is on eyes, hair, and usually the nose features. You know, it's a very different art form. 
Uh, and that's something like with this one, it's very important. All I'm going back now, just taking my mechanical and really, really darken these lines, switch around the eyes here. Like I say, his eyes are big. I'm going to erase, erase the guidelines and you'll see the difference it's going to make just by cleaning it up a bit. Which always amazes me. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people that have a good drawing, but sometimes they'll tend to ruin it because they won't erase, and instead they'll keep working over the drawing uh, because they think, you know, it's in their mind they're saying this doesn't look right, this doesn't look right, which may be the case, but a big reason is because, you know, they haven't completely cleaned up lines or finished things. So try and get in the habit of that, but for the hair, that right, curves downward. Got a piece of hair coming down. You actually have one coming down like this. And on this side, just curve. Notice these nice curves. I'm going to keep it sketchy. I like this sketchy look. I'm going to speed it up a bit just so I can show you the finished. Let's see the hair on the outside of the face. These hair. And then for this part, the collar have this. And then let's go back over those lines we made. Let's finish up the eyes. The eyes have this line. Then you have big pupil, which comes in from this direction. Or big highlight, I'm sorry. And same on this side. Kind of like that for the eye. Remember the pupil and the dark eye. I kind of trying to get her look a little different style. Kind of a little different style of the face. I like. I'll make this eye a little smaller. Always remember you want to keep the eyes to look. So let's finish up here. Just going to finish these lines of the hair. This is where we left off. There's hair back in this part. But right here you have a little bow tie ribbon that comes off. Like that, so it's two basic shapes and under here. And this is part of the vest. And you could shade this and I'll shade it in real quick. Just you know it's important you do that so you can tell what different parts are. Like that. Now you can see that better. This this eye seems so big for some reason. And for the rest, we'll just make these outlines darker. Couple of creases. And for the hands, you want to just fold them. See this basic shape right there? And then with the end, you're just going to make little lines. One, two. So these are just little simple lines, little simple shapes to hold. Because she's holding the book. Now, nothing fancy uh, in the book, of course. Just make the little rectangular shape. Then this rest of the skirt, which we're not going to. I'll just draw the legs sketchy. That's pretty much the final drawing. 
I'm just gonna go back add some shadows. Like right here, you gotta you gotta think of the body. Like I said, you have the breasts, and so I'm looking at the the drawing. You know, the image I'm using. There's a little mark here that kind of curves inward, and then like that's something you gotta get used to the folds. There's a little shadow here in the fold, the one here. You just just kind of put where you feel like there's creases in the fabric. Uh, I'm gonna go back and shade those areas. That's about it. Remember with the hair? Might have made the hair a little bit too wide, but I like that. You know, so it's fun, you know, it's your drawing. You can do how you want to make the style. You don't have to, I mean, it's, you know, of course you got to learn the rules. You got to learn correct proportions, but I really like, I like making these anime characters almost more, not really chibi. You know that word, chibi. Uh, I don't like to make them exactly chibi where the body's real tiny but I do like to make them somewhat uh, chibi fashion and you know, that's kinda of what I did with her yeah you know I kept the body a basic but I what I'm saying is the body part should have been a little little longer but not really it looks fine but at the same time I, it's just the style I'm trying to get at is make it a little bit cutesy more cutesy in that art form so I hope that makes sense and basically I'm just going to go back, you know, do the shade and finish any marks, dirty marks. i got to clear, clean these marks up more, but hope that helps. I hope you learned how to draw her, and I'll probably draw Death the Kid next or some more anime. Thanks, Aaron, for watching. Thanks, everybody.